Our memory of Lady Bower started with stepping off the bus on the A6013. The atmosphere was disjointed. A sublime body of water evoked awe due to the sheer scale and the reflection of the woodland. The inconvenience of the noisy roadside impacted the mood as you felt singular, uncomfortable and disconnected from the tranquil view ahead. Myers explores the idea that landscapes have distinct forms and experiences that causes feelings through space, sequence and form. This is especially strong in the case of Lady Bower, a constructed expanse of water. Each point of arrival and the season provided a different visual character and so aesthetics and enjoyment varies. Arguably, this would cause Lady Bower to be an aesthetic landscape. As a beauty is ephemeral, it can be a fleeting experience. The autumn muted colours reflected the serene still water. The Lady Bower Reservoir was completed in 1943. Lady Bower Dam was inciting with its avenue slicing across the reservoir and the unique appearance of the two enclosed Bellmouth spillways lent to a mysterious atmosphere. The spillways were empty and its staggered void evoked curiosity, whilst memory recalls it as feeling boundless. The slope sharply declines with the open lawn trailing to the unusual overflow valve houses. The walls lend a sense of detachment from the breathtaking landscape. The sublime view did not distract from the small details of nature. The light frost. Gentle winds and centres engaged with impersonal space boosted mood and appreciation for the landscape in reach. Button presents the coalescence of extant and introduced materials as one factor integral to the structure of the landscape. The existing reservoir drowns the historical villages of Derwent and Ashopton, yet they occasionally re-emerge as cultural ruins of memory. Whilst the ruins were not apparent on this journey, the clash of water against stone and time has enmeshed new mosses species and graffiti onto the character of the hard materials. Turning left towards the River Derwent, facing the warm south sun, enveloped in the towering woodland and sound of trailing water invigorated perceptions of proximity to the landscape. The direction of the journey and the water, coincidental but natural, and the change in topography felt more inviting than a flat path. Topological appropriateness and mindful adaption could be one explanation for the positive experience of this part of the landscape. The juxtaposition of powerful crashing against the gentle sound of water stirred the disconnected atmosphere from the reservoir onto a flow of excitement and peace along the river. Drainage holes, streams and cascades accompanied the path as the descent confluences. Yorkshire Bridge upon the river was the summit of the journey. The natural visual identity and sense of place to the river and attachment to the latter half of the route overshadowed the road and the view of Lady Bower Reservoir. Memories, feelings and the mood influenced this perception. The psychological and physical experience entwined due to the expressiveness of the organic forms of land, topography and water.